Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a thought that has made you anxious, maybe a little depressed, maybe a little angry, and that feeling took you straight off of your productivity goals? Maybe it stopped you dead in your tracks. I have the same feelings when that heart gets to acting funky. Sometimes you can't do anything. And it could have been a thought that you like know it's irrational and you know that your mind is over exaggerating things, but you can't stop it. We all have unhelpful thoughts that stop our mood, that, you know, change our behaviors. Trust me, I have went through it as well as so many of the clients that I coach. But what if I told you you could stop those unhelpful thoughts and eventually not repeat them ever again? Hi, my name is Nasaret Bawa. I am a spiritual life and business coach that helps spiritual practitioners overcome limited thinking so they can be able to live in their divine purpose, be able to achieve the things in their life that they have always wanted to achieve. I do this with my six point reboot reality system. And with that system, I have really helped people change their lives. They change their lives by following the steps that I give them in that six point strategy. And in this video, I'm going to really go through the five keys that can help you move past the unhelpful thinking once and for all. By the end of this video, you'll have a few key steps that I teach my clients on how to challenge those thoughts and reframe their behaviors. And if you're really ready to make that change, you can join my six week break free challenge, which we're starting the first week in April and your success is dependent on you being able to manage those thoughts. All right, so it never seems to fail, right? You're sitting down, you're getting ready for a task. Maybe you're sitting down to meditate and all of these unhelpful thoughts start flooding in that are totally contrary to the future that you want to create. Remember, consciousness creates reality. Reality does not create consciousness. So we've got to rein this in so we can be able to reboot our realities. One of the first things that you are going to want to do is maintain space between yourself and your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. Thoughts are frequencies. And these thoughts can be coming from ancestors. They can be coming from your ego. They can be coming from entities. That's why I deal with spiritual practitioners, because spiritual practitioners understand that they are a multidimensional being. And you simply cannot follow and listen to every thought that comes in your head. Let me give you an example. When you are driving down the street at any given time, there may be 50 to 100 cars around you. There's billboards, there's buildings, there's the crying baby that's waving at you in a car next to you. You can't take all that stuff in because if you do, you will end up in an accident. The same thing goes for your thoughts. Do not follow every thought. Do not listen to every thought and be able to quiet and manage them. So set some distance between yourself and your thoughts, understanding that you are not your thoughts. Allow them to come in and move along. Allow them to pass like the wind, all right? Is this a helpful thought? Is this going to get me what I want? Is this aligning with my desire? And if they don't, then move along, little doggy, just like you do people that come into your life that don't serve you. Number two, understand how your brain is wired. Your brain is really wired to create solutions, right? And so if you have not really done the work to be able to manage your thoughts, then the brain, you've trained it. We've trained it for centuries to just come up with random thoughts, random thoughts. Buddha call it the monkey mind, right? That monkey mind. And sometimes these thoughts can be simply disturbing and they can be distractive and they can take you off your game. Simply go to your breath, let it pass, bring in a more helpful thought. And our brain seems to also just hyper focus on certain things. So in the comments, let me know, 
What's a repetitive thought that keeps up, keeps you up at night constantly all the time? I want to know in the comments. Number three, meditation. Meditation is something that people often don't value or they have a false sense of what meditation is for. You should know that there are various types of meditation and just quieting your mind is not the first place that you want to go. Many times just being focused on awareness of your thoughts is a form of meditation. Quieting the room returning your breath, and simply observing what thoughts are coming in. What I would do from there is write down the thoughts that you have as they come in. Write down, what are you keep thinking about all of the time, right? This allows you to really address those thoughts that are really important and those that aren't that you just keep thinking about because you trained yourself to do that. So in the beginning, you might need not go to meditation practices where you have to shut the mind down, but more go into meditative practices where you are becoming aware of the repetitive thoughts that keep coming over and over again. And don't worry if you have problems understanding how to do that. I am doing a six week break free from limited thoughts challenge that is available to all the members of Wisdom Seekers Collective and also to all of you out there. So if you are interested in joining this six weeks challenge so that you can break free from your limited thoughts, and I'm going to teach you breath work, meditation, self-discipline, emotional alchemy, how to really address these, how to connect with your ancestors, you know, all of this information that can really put you on track to being successful. And guess what? If you join Unveil Your Path Academy, my zero to having your business set up in 90 days with an additional three months support, you are going to get the Mindset Challenge for free if you enroll before March 31st. Number four, we are really engaging in mindset alchemy, right? Once you are going through meditation and you are saying, wow, I seem to really be thinking that thought over and over again, choose which one of the thoughts that you wrote down to be able to have some cognitive reprogramming and really activating that neuroplasticity in your brain. So let's say that one of the repetitive thoughts that you keep having over and over again is attached to unworthiness. I don't feel good. I can't do. I can't do. You look at that piece of paper, you see what that is, and then you counter, uh, you, you have a counter thought. I am worthy. And yes, I know your body's going to feel weird. In past, sometimes with clients, they can't even form the words. And so I work with them, say it over and over again with your breath. And then even in those few minutes of them constantly saying over and over again with their breath, they find that somewhere along the line, the body starts, stop resisting that thought. This can work with practice, okay? So you really have to think of the counter thought, but choose one, right? So when you are doing your meditation, your, your awareness meditation, and let's say, oh my gosh, there's six repetitive thoughts that keep, I can't stop over and over again, like a tape recorder. Then you're going to look at your paper, grab one of those thoughts and say, I'm going to focus on this one. And every time that thought comes up, you are going to have a reprogramming statement for that thought. And you just keep doing that over and over again until those thoughts just stop. And they will, trust me. Also, number five, apply logic, okay? This is where you want to do a little bit reverse psychology. If I keep thinking this thought, what is going to happen? Here is the truth of the matter. It is not rocket science. I always say consciousness creates reality. Reality does not create consciousness. So, so if you continue to think poor thoughts, then you are going to continue to put out poor efforts. Meaning if you keep thinking, I can't start that business, I can't have love, I can't, I've tried everything and I can't lose weight, then you are going to make the decisions that support that. Just apply a little logic. All right. If I keep telling myself that I am unworthy, what is going to be the outcome of that? So let me ask you a question. 
what is one thought that you keep saying to yourself over and over again that you want to be able to try uh, apply this technique to? I want to know. If your negative thoughts are continuing to distract you and they are keeping you in cycles and cycles and you simply just <laughs> you having problems getting over it, then I want you to consider a coaching program with me. OK, I have one on one coaching programs. We can set up a discovery call to see if it's right for you, which package is right for you. Also, you can join Wisdom Seekers Collective. You can join Unveil Your Path Academy. And you can also join my six weeks break free mindset challenge. At the end of those six weeks, you will have everything that you need. And I'll be your support. Because did you know that you can change your brain and set it up for success in as little as 72 hours? And after uh, six weeks of creating these strategies and practicing these strategies that I'm going to be able to teach you and break free, you are going to have a firm grasp on being able to alchemize those negative thoughts so you can set up the behaviors that you want. So whether it's Unveil Your Path Academy because you're a spiritual entrepreneur, you want to be able to set yourself up for success, whether it's break free because you want to quickly be able to get through those thoughts. And guess what? We are still enrolling for Unveil Your Path Academy. And if you join before March 31st, you are going to get this six week challenge as a part of your enrollment fees. So make sure that you join before March 31st because it is time for us to stop the negative thinking and so we can be able to create the lives that we have always wanted to create. I'm Nasa Red Barwa. I'll see you on the next video.